Hello, my friends. A special good evening to all of you. Today is Sunday, Palm Sunday. We had attended the service today. We have brought our guests with the handkerchief. And so we have also brought our palm leaf. Because we have welcomed the Lord Jesus in our lives. And as you have arrived there in your home, sweet home, with your palm leaf, we do believe that the Lord Jesus has arrived there in your house. And uh, Pastor Marcos, uh, it doesn't finish, it doesn't stop today. We have the first day out of the nine days. Today was the Palm Sunday. Tomorrow represents the day that the Lord Jesus turned the table. He turned the table. Many people, they have to turn the table because it seems they are living in darkness. Darkness, like, for example, there are people who, spiritually speaking, they have a blackout. They don't know what to do. They cannot see the light at the end of the tunnel. It seems that the debt, uh, the financial struggles, and every other problem is just like a dark cloud that overshadowed them. They cannot find a way out of this financial life. They need to do something. They need a light. They need to turn the table in their lives. They have to say enough is enough. And out of the nine days, tomorrow is the second. Yes, the day that Jesus turned the table, meaning he didn't agree to that which he saw, to that which he came across. He expressed his revolt. And that is what you have to do. If you revolt against all that is happening in your life, that's going to trigger this inner power called faith, which is going to bring the light that comes from above upon your life and all your ways will be open. Because, Pastor Philip, this light we are talking about is the light of faith. And the light of faith is triggered when a person is revolted because so much this person has come across so much has happened to the life of this person thus far so many problems this person has been experiencing of which they are not happy about when Jesus entered the temple and he saw what he saw he wasn't happy it was a picture that he didn't agree with immediately he turned the table he expressed his revolt so what this person must do tomorrow this person must join us those who are discontent those who are dissatisfied, those who are in debt, they have to leave their place and join us to turn the table because then the light will shine. So the Lord Jesus have already come into the life of this person today. And as the Lord Jesus entered in your life today, tomorrow, so the person has to express the same revoltness because if the Lord Jesus is in you, you are supposed to be revolted as he is. You are supposed to be, you know, in a stage of, of saying, I do not accept it anymore. I cannot take it and be revolted as he was. Enough is enough. Indignation. Mm -hmm. That was it. When he saw that, he said, no, it's not meant to be the way it is. It's not meant to be as I am seeing. And so this person right now, when he looks at his life, when she looks at her life, and there are various things that makes him or her dissatisfied, so this person has to say, enough is enough. Turn the table. And that is what Jesus did, and that is what we are going to do. So my friend, tomorrow you are going to be expressing this revoltness that you have inside of you against the financial situation that you have been through, this financial disability. You must attend tomorrow in this revoltness. Not anymore. Not again. I do not accept this problem in my life anymore. And we are going to turn the table. For sure, you have been seeking, searching for a light. You are going to find this light. Because as this light shines upon us right now, so God is going to shine His light upon your life tomorrow. I would like you to hold your nine days chain of prayer in your hands because now is the time for us to talk to God. And if you have your palm that you have brought to be anointed today in church, it's good for you to have your palm lift also in your hands. Let us talk to God now. Prayer is our communication with God. You watched the testimonies. You heard the word. But now, please close your eyes and prepare for the moment of prayer.
My Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we pray and we ask you right now, Lord, as this person has welcomed you in his life, in her life, Lord, awaken this revoltness. Awake right now, my Father, this revoltness against this situation, against the financial disability, against this debt, against, my Lord, this disability financially wise that has left this person unable to get a job, that has left the business of this person stuck. Many people have lost jobs. Many people have lost opportunities. Many people that have their business, it's going slow because of this pandemic. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, God, we rebuke right now this acceptance, this complacement, and this negative word that has been coming through the ears of your people saying everyone goes through financial problems. Everyone now has been going through hard moments. No God. Father, we cannot accept because a change, a transformation begins within us. And from the moment that instead that we be revolted against a situation but we accept it our lives will always remain as it is and we cannot live my lord by what other people say we live by what your word says and you said let there be light and this light has to be in us and wherever we go wherever we reach there my father we must see the light and Lord Jesus, especially now, in this month of April, the month of the open doors, the month that, my Lord, the windows of heavens will be open upon people's lives. And in the name of Jesus, as you spoke, my Father, to that man that Lord couldn't speak, you said, Ephatah. And my father, his vocal cords began to speak. That man began to hear. So my Lord, we are going to speak about a good news that you will give us. We are going to hear good news. Because the same miracle to be open is going to happen in our lives. In the name of your son Jesus, bless those who have already been decided. Those who are already decided for this Lord's Supper of decision. In the name of Jesus, we surrender all who are praying together with us into your hands. And we have the assurance that tomorrow, my Father, through this revoltness that has been inside of us, as you came within us, Lord, today on Palm Sunday, we are going to express, my Father, this revoltness tomorrow. And we are going to turn the table. In the name of the Father, the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. And if you believe, say, Amen. Amen. Praise God. My friend, before we go, before we go, just listen to what I'm going to tell you. We have nine days, nine days in this chain of prayer of the whole week. The most important Christian holiday, it will go for nine days. From today, Palm Sunday, until next week, Monday, that will be Easter Monday. And many times, nine days in the most Christian, you know, faith week holiday, there are people that will break it. But did you know that a nine night, people, they don't break. Somebody dies. And then for nine consecutive nights, some call wake, other calls nine night. And they keep on going in the house of the family member who lost the loved one. They go to drink. They go to gamble, they go to smoke, they go to uh, uh, talk, tell jokes about the one who passed away. They do a lot of things to eat. And the one who lost the family member has to provide the food and drink. So they keep on going that week, that several days to that person's house. 
the one that lost a family member. And here, we didn't lose anything. Because here, we gained. The Lord Jesus went to the cross on our behalf. He suffered on that week and he resurrected to give us life. Are we going to break this chain of prayer? Let us see what those watching us right now will do about these nine days. Because you said it all. If you are a true man, woman of faith, these nine days are not meant to be missed. So my friend, you are not going to miss not even one day. Tomorrow is the second out of nine. And I'm going to be here and I'm going until the end. And you also have to go until the end with us. For now, we are going. But tomorrow, Monday, what time? Tomorrow is not a holiday. Tomorrow is normal time. Exactly. Six o'clock in the morning, the first service of the day. Then 10 o'clock, 12 midday, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Most especially 5 p.m., the main gathering of faith of the strong nation. Last but not least, half past six in the evening. So, my friend, we are going. But tomorrow... We are going to be together with you here in our national headquarters and also in every universal church countrywide, in both islands, Trinidad and also Tobago. Have yourself a very blessed night. See you. You might have lost it all. You might have lost it all. Car. house, job, business, opportunities, even your family. You may be at the bottom of a pit right now. But you did not lose your faith. And your faith will make you stand again. And God will give you twice as much everything you lost. If you enter into a pact with Him. He will restore. He will enable you to redeem. He will enable you to conquer. He will take you out from this pit bottom. And he's going to make you to be at the hill top. This is what God will do for you.